To a target shooter, perhaps nothing is more beautiful than putting a hole through the X-ring of your target, especially when seeing that target through a pair of Maven B.5 mil reticle binoculars. Let's take a look ourselves on this episode. Let's do a quick unboxing, but rather than bore you with footage of me fumbling through its eco-friendly packaging, let's instead see what you get in the box. This is the Maven B.5, and this is the shooting sports or tactical version of the B.5 binoculars with a range-finding crosshair reticle, and this one's calibrated in mil. They also make an MOA variant of uh, the crosshairs. And of course, the B.5 usually comes without the crosshairs. This is an 18 power by 56 millimeter objective pair of binoculars and it comes with front retained lens caps. These are silicone rubber. Uh, it also comes with a rubberized armor finish on there and it's a nice sort of dark clay or pewter gray. And uh, it comes also with rear lens caps which are meant to be retained if you run your neck strap through them and through the loops that are on the tube body as well. And the rear, your rear um, oculars have uh, telescoping eye cups, that's a nice little feature, and indexing, so that's that's nice. Uh, each of the tubes have their own diopter, so you can really customize it for your own eyes, because everybody's eyes are different, and nobody has exactly the same uh, pair on, on their left and right. Here's their, your main focus is in the center, it turns very smoothly. And I really like the texturing on uh, the knob there. Very fine texturing on, uh, on the knob and also on your diopter. Overall, it reminds me very much of vintage European uh, photo lenses in terms of just the level of detail and the fine craftsmanship and the design. The, the texturing and also the rubberized finish will provide you a very good grip, grippy texture, uh, whether you have wet hands uh, out on the field or in gloved hands in the cold and it hinges quite nicely smoothly and overall it just looks so striking it's the thing about mavens uh, op all of their optics they just look very stylish and that may seem superficial uh, but if you're going to spend the kind of coin that one needs to spend to get a pair of maven uh, binoculars or any of their optics uh, why not be able to customize it uh, and have something that looks really stylish and but speaking of customization no other company that i'm aware of gives you the level of customization that maven does on their website you can order your optic but you could also have the option of customizing it uh, for you for you um if you don't like orange the orange accents you can choose choose to change these to blue or red or green or, or what have you in any combination. Uh, also, the, if you don't like the gray, the dark pewter or clay finish, uh, you can choose a different uh, a different color or even camo. So um, that really offers you a lot of ways to customize and make your particular uh, pair of binoculars unique. So, uh, but of course, the more important thing is how do they look through the glass? And this glass is fluorite glass, by the way, which is uh, a step up from ED glass. In fact, ED does ha contain fluorite in it, uh, but this one has just a higher level of, uh, of fluorite cl crystals in the glass, and that should provide uh, an even better image than ED glass. But let's find out ourselves by taking taking it out and taking a look through these binoculars next. Before we get started with the test, I'd just like to take a quick break here to talk about this episode's sponsor, Aura. You've seen the news, those huge data breaches that have compromised mine and probably your data. That's why it's important to be proactive. Now, for the cost of just a VPN, I'm getting a whole suite of security services, including a million dollars in identity theft insurance, fraud alerts, spam blockers, and they're even removing me from those damn data broker listings. After a month of using Aura, I've seen my spam mail go down by more than half, and I'm not getting any robocalls anymore. For an election year, that's priceless. Speaking of priceless, I'm giving you the opportunity to try them for free. Use my link, 
aura.com slash moondog, and you can try them for 14 days, free, no contracts, no commitments. And if you use that link, you're helping to support this channel. You know, identity fraud is a real thing, and with AI, it's all too easy to spoof your identity. That's why you should try out Aura. All right, let's get back to the tests. We are looking at the peak of Mount Davidson, approximately 1,400 yards away through the Maven around midday. So we're not going to get a lot of contrast just because of the position of the uh, of the sun and the shadows. But also, there's a lot of marine haze, so there's not as much vibrancy, color vibrancy at the top of the hill with my naked eye. So you're not seeing it through the scope either. But it is clear enough that I can make out the trail marker sign at the top of the hill. That's smack dab in the middle, center crosshairs there, just a little above the horizon line, that white object poking up above the bushes there. And that is about an eight foot tall uh, trail marker sign, which is a good proxy for a steel target at this distance. And overall, the image is very true to life and very, I can't really see any chromatic aberration, even at the outer edges of our scope image. Uh, usually you'll see that in the shadows as it's uh, butting up against the, the sky. No, really, really good clear image there. We're at the range looking at reference targets 100 yards away, and looking at the target frames on either side of the reference target, we can see just the barest hint of chromatic aberration along the white edges. Overall, the image is bright and clear with a lot of detail. You can even see the texturing of the bullet hits on the steel backstop. In the color card on the top left corner of our reference target board, the colors are vibrant and I can see individual gray squares in the grayscale charts on either side of the color circle. In the paper target in the bottom left, I can see two 22 caliber bullet holes below the reactive sticker target in the center. And in the optical resolution chart on the bottom right, I can make out horizontal and vertical lines easily past element 4 in group negative 1, and with my naked eye, finer still, which is remarkable for an 18 power optic. I'd like to thank Maven for sending out the B5 for me to test. And as you saw, um, it is quite impressive. And I'm not just talking about how stylish it looks or the fact that you can customize this. I'm talking about through the glass. So bright, very crisp and clear and sharp. The fluoride glass really does make a difference. And if you use a spotting scope for long range shooting or uh, long range observation of wildlife or even counting wildlife, having a reticle with hash marks and uh, numbers can be really helpful uh, in not just for range estimation. And if you do use a long range spotting scope, usually having a good pair of binoculars uh, can often be even more helpful than a spotting scope that is two or three times the power of these 18 power binoculars because binoculars offer you depth perception um, the ability to see when an object is closer or further away than another object and if you've ever looked through a regular spotting scope especially through uh, heat shimmer from mirage sometimes being able to tell where your impacts are are hitting on the ground uh, closer or overshooting your target can be super super helpful so yeah and plus the form factor of a pair of binoculars is so much more compact and easier to pack than say a long tube spotting scope. So that's another thing to consider. So if you're interested in picking up a, B, a pair of B5s, I'll include product links as well as more information in my full written review at moondogindustries.com. You'll find a link to that article in this video's description. And if you use the affiliate links in that article, you're helping to support this channel. And of course, you could always help by simply hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. It's absolutely free to subscribe to this channel and it just takes a second to hit that subscribe and the notification bell buttons. So thanks for doing that and taking the time to watch this video. You be safe out there. Moondog out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to moondogindustries.com.